the Shabs on the ground training series. Today we're going to be talking about hand washing. Um, behind me is a school that we've set up for this community, or we've helped to set up for this community. And one of the mandatory policies for this school is hand washing. Um, one of the uh, major uh, disease related deaths in this region are contamination related diseases. Um, these contamination -related, related diseases are most commonly passed from hand to mouth. And so to be able to incorporate hand washing breaks the contamination cycle and is the single most effective thing that a community can do in order to be able to improve the health of their community. Um, we all know soap to be effective in washing hands, but sometimes soap can be uh, expensive and not available. And so we want to be able to talk about uh, types and styles of hand washing that are more sustainable and don't require a financial investment. Another problem with hand wash in this region is people might wash their hands with very dirty contaminated water. So all that they're doing is actually spreading contamination rather than cleansing contamination. So what we've got set up here for our school is a, is a, a very inexpensive, locally constructed, slow sand biofilter which filters water to provide clean water for hand washing. This 50 liter drum stays here full of water. And in the morning, the teachers will simply put some water into our primary filter as the children are arriving for school. The water will pass through the primary filter and in a few minutes will start coming out of the spigot here. One of the things that's most exciting about the hand washing that we're, um, that we're advocating is the use of ash. The use of ash in hand washing is something that's not very well known both in America as well as the developing world. So to teach families and, and communities and schools about it is something that's very exciting because they know that ash is a free resource which is scattered everywhere. Um, let me show you this process and how it works exactly. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. So someone that would like to wash their hands simply gets their hands wet first, like that, and then you just tap to get a little bit of ash in your hands. We put this ash through a very simple filter just so it's, it's nice and smooth, we don't have any large chunks of char charcoal or anything like that. The filter is only, it's, it pretty much, it essentially it's just chicken wire, acts like a sift. The um, ash feels like some type of um, exfoliating soap pretty uh, abrasive to the skin in a positive way. And once you've rubbed it into your hands pretty well, you can just use the clean water to rinse your hands off. And every single person who's ever used ash to wash their hands that I've observed has been very, very surprised at how soft and how clean their hands feel afterwards. You can see I used a very little water, a little, very little bit amount of ash, but now my hands are very, very clean. Our students will be washing their hands uh, every day before they come into school in order to be able to, to pr protect the, the, the health of our teachers as well as their fellow students. Um, we believe this is a very effective thing in order to be able to help children to learn better as they're not plagued with as many contamination related diseases. We also as an organization have worked um, to be able to teach and proliferate this style of hand washing throughout communities in this area um, in order for families, communities, church groups, and other organizations to be able to take this seriously as a way to be able to eliminate contamination-related diseases. Thank you so much for joining our SHAP on the ground training. We hope you join us next time.